Good morning. I'm Leonard Hamlin, Canon Missioner of the Washington National Cathedral. And it gives me great pleasure to meet you on Monday, January 16th, in this new year of 2023. So won't you join me in this moment of prayer and devotion as it, we welcome you on behalf of our Dean as well as our Bishop. Almighty God, we come and once again, we are thankful for the new opportunities and the new day that you have set before us. We ask now that we might be able to set our minds and all of our heart on you. Thank you for this moment of calling us together that we may be able to do all that you have given us to do. So we ask that you would hold us now. This we ask in the wonderful name of Jesus we pray and for his sake, amen. Our reading on this morning comes out of the Gospel of Mark, the second chapter, the 18th through the 22nd verses. And in Mark's Gospel, we hear these words. Now John's disciples and the Pharisees were fasting, and people came and said to him, why do John's disciples and the disciples of the Pharisees fast? but your disciples do not fast. Jesus said to them, the wedding guests cannot fast while the bridegroom is with them, can they? As long as they have the bridegroom with them, they cannot fast. The days will come when the bridegroom is taken away from them and they will fast on that day. No one sews a piece of unshrunk cloth on an old cloak. Otherwise, the patch pulls away from it. The new from the old, and a worse tear is made. And no one puts new wine into old wineskins. Otherwise, the wine will burst the skins, and the wine is lost. And so are the skins. But one puts new wine into fresh wineskins. Amen. Certainly on this morning as we gather, there are so many conversations that I have had to start this brand new year. Many of those conversations have focused on different subjects, but one particular subject that has come up in numerous conversations has been individuals' desire to fast in the midst of their making resolutions, in the midst of trying to do new habits, uh, for those who have been walking in certain disciplines of faith and uh, trying to strengthen their faith, you will hear many people talk about fasting at the beginning of the year, not just during the Lenten season, but to start the year. Men will do it morning to sundown, seven days, 21 days, but they will pick all of these different ways in which they can step into something brand new. That is a desire for many that this year would be different than last year, that they might accomplish more than they did last year, that they might be a better individual than they were last year. Hopefully all of us will be able to have those kind of desires at some point throughout the year that we, we want to do more than what we've done to be better than what we have been. But here in this particular passage for this morning, it centers upon fasting where Jesus has this conversation with those who are gathered about his disciples and the disciples of John and the Pharisees. Let me just say on this morning that fasting is about discipline. There are many who think that just by going through this, that somehow they will be entering into something brand new, that they would be different, but they are motivated for all the wrong reasons. Some just want to get to the finish line, but not be different when they cross that finish line. They don't want to be new as a result of the experience. And in order to carry out what Jesus has given us to do, in order to be disciples, it is important to see even moments like this as practicing and strengthening our discipline. I remember reading years ago passages that talked about discipline, and 
I, I put this even in certain understanding when we think about being disciples, that really it read this way, and it said, I belong to people who love me. That's dependence. They spoke to me and I answered. That's my responsibility. They here gave me things to do and I did them. That's obedience. Discipline is different than all three of those. I know many who be, are willing to say they belong to God and they live in that understanding of being dependent. There are others who say the Lord has spoken to me and they respond. That's living in the area of responsibility. There are others that say God gave me something to do and I did it, that's obedience. But discipline touches all of these that we might be ready and have an understanding of dependence, responsibility, and obedience. Discipline is a disciple's career. That we need good discipline so that we can be obedient to what he's told us to do. We need good discipline so that we will be able to respond responsibly when he speaks to us. And we know that all things are possible through God. So on this day, as we think about fasting and all that Jesus tells us, that you can't really mix the old and the new, we have to remember the passage that tells us that all things have become brand new. Amen. Won't you join me in a word of prayer on this day that Jesus prayed with his disciples? That prayer that really is a prayer for every moment, every occasion, and in this brand new year might help us to see each brand new day. Won't you pray with me the Lord's Prayer? Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory forever and ever, amen. On this day, we pray that we might all not be trying to put new wine in old skins, but all things for this year might be made brand new. So now may the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord make his face to shine upon you. May the Lord's countenance rest upon you and give you peace. Amen.